Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to Day 93 of 100 Days 100 Concepts. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about a very short and important topic from corrosion which is Nernst equation. So what is my Nernst equation tell us? Okay, so what is Nernst equation basically? So I think everyone was no, but what if it's significance? So Nernst equation basically explains you the effect or the change in the cell potential when you actually have you know uh, different temperature and different concentration other than the standard electrodes okay that means it tells you the relation between the potential and what are the things that i said temperature and what is the other thing that i said the concentration okay so usually let's say i have uh, a particular reaction something like this so let me take m1 and m2 okay let me take m1 and m2 okay so m1 is basically oxidizing uh, to let's say mn plus 2 and similarly m2 plus 2 is getting reduced of course by taking those electrons at all i'm not actually writing out the full equations for you so let's say this is your total equation now by adding it what you get you get m1 plus m2 plus 2 converting to m2 plus m1 plus 2 right this is what is the transfer so basically what is uh, the role of electrons here so here you get two electrons these electrons come and add up over here and this m2 is getting reduced right so for this particular reaction let me uh, just remove these electrons here yeah so now let's say that this particular reaction has something like e1 naught and this is e2 naught i am writing naught on top what is this naught i'll talk about it okay so what about this thing so this e naught cell will be written as what e1 naught plus e2 naught okay i am not bothering about the values but i'm just taking out whatever is the reduction potentials right so e1 naught plus e2 naught will be this particular cell potential okay but what is this not as i said this represents my standard cell potential so what uh, exactly is this word standard mean okay and how we are actually you know uh, relating this to my Nernst equation so basically standard means when you have one molar ionic solutions okay both m1 plus 2 and m2 plus 2 ions are one molar concentration and they are at 25 degrees celsius okay one molar solutions and what 25 degrees celsius temperature and of course uh, they must also be pure metal electrodes okay pure metal electrodes these two conditions if my electrodes are made up of pure metal and also my concentration of the solution is one molar and if this whole setup this whole cell is at 25 degrees celsius then i'm going to call whatever is the potential associated with that particular equation or uh, reactions i call it standard cell potential but here what are the standardizations that you made what are the assumptions that you made so that you are calling it standard of course pure metal electrodes will be there even at a higher temperature it will be there but the other uh, assumptions you made are these two guys one is my concentration and two is my temperature so what if you are actually setting up a cell something similar to this but in a non-standard concentration in a non-standard temperature what is that what is that i mean other than this okay if your temperature is other than 25 degrees and if the concentration is other than one molar what will happen to my potential that will be actually explained by Nernst equation okay so this is all is about the significance of Nernst equation now coming to the famous Nernst equation which you all know already okay which we write e now it is no more e naught but it is e why because it is not standard okay so e cell is equal to e naught cell minus rt by nf into ln of concentration of your products 
divided by concentration of reactants now you see i made into account the temperature as well as concentration of products as well as reactants so basically you can see this is how you will see the change in the cell potential right now what is this e not cell that is nothing but this ci which we already know e1 not plus e2 not is my e not cell okay so here basically what are uh, the other things also i think we all know r is the universal gas constant temperature is where you are dealing with n is valency so here uh, i already mentioned right we have two electrons correct so n is nothing but the valency f is the faraday's constant which we all know what is f 96500 what are the units units are important coulomb per mole okay this is my f right now we can also have a more clear equation by taking in all these you know constants and all and converting this natural logarithm to my log okay log to the base 10 so what what we get on doing it we get e equal to e not minus 0 0.059 by n into log of products by reactant so here what is product m1 plus 2 ion concentration divided by reactant is what m2 plus 2 okay so how did i arrive at this final equation which we tend to use so here basically again we did not change your temperature temperature is 25 degrees celsius of course you need to use in kelvin so it will be 298 r is universal gas constant which is 8.314 n is n itself and what is uh, f we know it's 96500 and also we changed ln and log over here right so this is how you got the final equation and its main significance basically okay so i think uh, this video gave you a neat idea of how to go about this of course uh, one more important thing people will ask me what if there are you know anodic and cathodic so you can write that also of course i am directly giving you the equation so this will be e naught minus rt by nf into ln of anode concentration by cathode concentration again you can easily uh, you know carefully observe and you can easily arrive at this okay so yeah of course from here also you can see this is your oxidation correct that means this is your anode correct right yes or no so that is why obviously here if you see mn plus 2 is on the numerator so from there you actually get to do this right and uh, we also have various other uh, extensions to these non-state equations say if we have a concentration cell what is a concentration cell concentration cell is where your e naught basically is zero so your cell will be cell potential will be only this guy why is it zero it is zero because both the electrodes are basically made up of same material same metal but of different concentrations say one of the best example of this is your uh, refining electrolytic refining right where you actually extract or purify impure metals to 100 percent pure metals right so this is about nernst equation i hope uh, you all like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the great metallurgy aspirants also do visit everythingmetallurgy.com we are actually uh, coming out with a live webinar which i'll actually announce in a separate uh, video okay so interested students please stay tuned to our channels and all the social media handles where you can get details about that and also not only that if people are still interested to enroll for gate 2022 of course uh, this is a peak time where you have one complete year in your hands so please do visit everythingmetallurgy.com or dm us on whatsapp or email so that we can explain you further details of course i'll put in the cards already uh, about the complete details about the live classes and the video courses so yeah that's it from my side we'll meet you again in the next video thank you guys